um, when I was shuffling the cards for you, um, what I feel is uh, I see this this kind of like a spider web. Uh, you in the middle, and then your heart is the the heart chakra. It it's kind of uh, there's a web. It spins from the heart to connect to other people. So I definitely feel like this is going to be a really sweet, nurturing, emotionally fulfilling week for you where you are definitely able to express more of yourself, not only that logical, intellectual side, but more so your fears, your dreams, your aspirations. And then I feel like you are, for whatever reason, surrounded by a bunch of individuals that you really care about, like you actually care about them. Um, they can tell you, you know, the most mundane, boring details about their day. They went to the grocery store. Then they went to get their car, you know, washed. It could be the most mundane details, but you're interested because you care about them. And so I, I, I feel you kind of uh, sitting still, listening to other people's, um, you know, what, what they've been up to. I feel like some of you might be catching up with people that you haven't seen in a while. It's the holiday season, so that's expected. But I, I just feel like it's not that you haven't, you know, I, I don't see a lot of travel, a lot of movement. But I, I feel like the, the conversations are a lot more heartfelt. And a lot of it has to do with the people that are around you. Okay, I see at least four, four people around you. Um, this week... They're saying, um, you know, get in touch with your mom. Okay, get in touch with your mom. Um, talk to her about what she's doing and, and ask her for advice. So if you're taking care of somebody, I feel like your mom, she might have tremendous amount of expertise in that field. So you might want to ask her for pointers. You might want to ask her for advice. You might want to take her advice. Even if you've had like, you know, contentious issues with your mom in the past, I feel like she knows what to do. I see somebody who might be working in some type of a healing profession, um, either a nurse, a doctor, a uh, lab technician, a dentist, whatever it is. Somebody who, who deals with the public, heals the public, or, you know, does something health related. They have a lot of tricks up their sleeves. They have like little um, tricks that they use in order to soothe things, in order to calm things, in order to alleviate pain and, and you know, um, discomfort and things like that. So they have a lot of tricks up their sleeves and they're going to be very helpful to you. Um, so, you know, seek out those people. But in particular, I feel like more so the women in your life and more so the um the the mother or parental figures in your life okay i feel like it's it's going to really blow your mind and help you with some situations that you couldn't find a cure for um i'm also seeing as well there's um there's an element here about you know very strong emotional connections that bridges distance and um that is unbreakable. So very strong emotional connections that you have with the people around you this week. It's coming in really, really, really strong. And what's really weird is, you know, we are headed into Mercury retrograde. Um, it started on the 17th. And let me check the calendar. What day is today? Today is the 18th. So it started yesterday. And it's going to continue until December 5th. And I feel like when Mercury is uh, no longer in the picture, for a lot of air signs in general, air signs and also Virgos, um, air signs are all about, you know, uh, thoughts, logic, mental processes. When Mercury is no longer in the picture, you rely a lot more on your intuition. This might be unbeknownst to you. This might not be something that you're um, completely, you know, aware of but I, I feel like what it does is that you think less you think less and I feel like your intuition takes over a little bit more your intuition your emotions so this is a, a time where your intuition or your emotions kind of uh, take center stage where you feel certain ways where you have snippets of insights about yourself about your behavior about how other people view you so this is a really good time for, you know, looking at ourselves, looking at our emotions and allowing our emotions 
to kind of um, not so much dictate our choices, but allow uh, yourself to feel things, okay? That, that's what I feel is happening. You might have rushes of emotions that you've never had in the past. You might be missing somebody and you're like, wait a minute, I really miss this person. Let me tell them how much I miss them. It's like you're allowing your emotions to take precedence over everything else. And you're allowing your emotions to, you're giving your emotions a voice, uh, which I feel is actually really good for you guys, Aquarius, because, you know, the rest of the year, the rest of the year, this doesn't really happen. Um, I see a big financial windfall coming in. Big financial windfall. This could be a bonus. This could be gifts as well coming through from other people. Um, for those of you who are self-employed, um, if you have left some type of a self-employed gig in the past, and um, it's funny because Capricorn got this as well. If you have left something behind in the past, if you were you know, self-employed at one point in your life, and now you're in a stable nine to five type of a job, possibly, you know, governmental institution like um, um, or some really, really stable job that gives you time off, that gives you, um, you know, that 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 is very stable, like nine to five, 40 hour work week, nine to five. I feel like some of you might have the extra time to revisit and pick something back up again, like picking back up a self-employment gig that you've done in the past. I feel like that past gig, it came in at a point where you were short on funds. You needed the money for whatever reason. So you did it for a short time. You got yourself back on your feet. And now you're like, oh, you know, my main job is okay. But I see you picking it back up. I see you doing something with your hands, something very, very creative. I see a lot of people mixing things. So I don't know if you're painting. Um, I have the temperance card here. So... This is alchemy, mixing things. And it's next to the moon card, which deals more with like um, creativity, creating something. And I feel almost like um, the, this can deal with art and music and with the temperance card. Um, I feel like some of you are painting, some of you are sculpting, some of you are revisiting some creative thing that you've done in the past, possibly playing music because I see a lot of fingers and hands moving very quickly and, and mixing things too. Um, so there, there's that element about revisiting something um, possibly as a um, income generating, you know, activity or even something that you really found a lot of enjoyment in, in the past and now you're revisiting it, which is great. Um, and I also feel like it's a de-stressor for you. It allows you to kind of shut people out, shut out the noise, sit alone with music and just, you know, do your thing and have that me time and have that space to yourself. I see a big, big uptick when it comes to listening to music. Um, and for you, Aquarius, it's hard for you to put feelings into words, right? And I feel like some of you are very, very drawn to music. Because it allows you to express yourself, it allows you to, it, it almost like the, the music allows you to tap into the things that you feel, but you couldn't verbalize. So I see a lot of you um, being, you know, like sitting still, listening to music while you work, or having music on all the time, looking up specific songs, searching for specific lyrics, and, you know, just... Um, compiling a playlist even, digging up CDs or music from your computer and trying to transfer them. So I, I see that element, which is, um, I, I, I feel like this is, um, you're doing a lot of things that are on the creative front. And then I also feel for some of you who are self-employed, um, you're changing the way that you do work, okay? You're changing the way in which your schedule is arranged, you're changing the things that you're actually doing, you're changing your methodologies. And um, I almost feel like you're at a point where you do things because you want to enjoy the work that you do. It's not so much about the money. Aquarius people don't really care so much about the money. It's, it's more like, do I still like this? If I like it, then I'll continue to do it. If I don't like it, I can't sit there and, you know, go to work and do it day in and day out. 
um, and, and, you know, fake it. I, I can't do that. And a lot of fixed signs can't do that because, you know, I feel like you're very, very true to your heart. You're very true to yourself. If you don't like it, you're not going to sit there and fake it. And that goes for relationships too. Relationships with friends, relationships with lovers, relationships with colleagues. You cannot sit there and fake how you feel about a person, a group, a certain situation. If you don't like it, it the, the, the sentence that I'm hearing is, I wasn't there because I didn't want to be there. So I feel like that's just, you know, your attitude. Uh, life's too short. I'm not going to sit there and fake it. So I'm going to do me. I'm going to focus on me and focus on me and my music. So some of you might just want to shut people out and sit there and listen to your music while you're working on your craft, while you're painting and, and things like that. I see a lot of mixing um, cocktails, possibly mixing cocktails, mixing drinks, mixing, pouring one thing into another, um, blending as well. So some of you might be juicing, some of you might be hosting people and then you're uh, creating cocktails for them. So that's also coming through. I know that's very mundane, but it did show up. Um, I, I have here an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn. And um, this is somebody that has you very emotionally up and down, okay? Um, the word that I'm, I'm looking for is, um, there's a push and pull energy, tug of war between you and this person. And, uh, when I said tug of war, I, I think automatically of Taurus because they are just as stubborn as you are. Okay. So out of all the earth signs, they're a fixed sign as well. And Taurian and Aquarius, Taurus operate more on the practical level the things that they do they have a great sense of humor and I feel like you appreciate it Taurus people have a great sense of humor um, they can be a little bit they, they can be a little bit too blunt and too honest when it comes to their humor as well and so if you're not the object of their humor then it's funny but if they're if they, um, they make fun of you, even if they tease you, it can be a little bit hurtful. And I feel like for Aquarius, you guys are deeply sensitive. And so I feel like you, you have somebody here, uh, an earth sign. They might say things that when directed at you, it can feel a little bit hurtful. And I, I see this constant push and pull between you and them. It's, it's almost like they're pushing you away, okay? Or they might say things to undermine your importance in their life. They might say like, oh, I don't need you, you know, or go, or, um, or um, you know, let's go off with that group. It, it's almost like they're, they're constantly pushing you away. And you're very confused about this person. You're very confused about how they feel about you. You're very confused about why, would, why wouldn't they want to spend time with me if they care about me. Um, I feel like this person has so much on their plate. Okay. And, um, I feel like this person, they understand deep down that the two of you might not be very compatible. I also see an Aquarius Capricorn connection here. So if you are on the cusp that this, you might want to watch the Capricorn video. If you're dealing with a crush or a, um, a love interest, that's a Capricorn. You might want to also watch that video because I, I just feel like they know deep down that things are not going to be too compatible. And so they care about you, but they also want you to soar. They want you to fly. They want you to do your own thing. And so I feel like it's a little bit sad for the Aquarius because you you're you're thoroughly confused about this person and I feel like you know when they give you attention when they when they shower love and affection on you you can feel like you're on top of the world and then when they take it away it just feels to me like you're in a very dark place when they withdraw their love, their attention and their affection they have a lot of things going on in their lives some of them might have children um, 
I, I'm seeing them kind of detaching themselves. I feel like they're also very conflicted about you. They have this sense of maternal, paternal pride towards you because you guys are really smart. They really, really, really care about you. They care about your mental development. And I feel like whenever you achieve something, when you're happy, they feel this flush of paternal, maternal pride. I don't know why that is. And they feel like they helped you get to where you are, you know, so there, there's this innate sense of pride. But then they're, they're also very conflicted because I feel like, yes, there's romance there, romantic feelings. But it's, um, it might be hidden. It might be hidden. So I feel somebody is very conflicted when they're dealing with you. Um, they care about you. They like you. It might be a mixture of friendship, of romance. It could be somebody who's a friend and they want more, but then they don't really know how to bridge that divide. And then it could be somebody who's, um, you know, older than you. They care about you, but then they're like, oh, the Aquarius person is too young. So I, I see like just a lot of conflict with this person when they're dealing with you, which makes you feel very confused. And so you're going back and forth about this with this person. You're going back and forth with your emotions, not so much your mind. And, and I feel like if in the past, the past few months, past few weeks, you've been very confused, this is the week where your emotions start to dictate and starts to tell you, this person is conflicted about me. And in the process of unraveling your emotions, how you feel about them, you're coming into a sense of awareness about how they're feeling about you. I know that sounds weird. But I see a mirroring energy where you're starting to see both sides of the story. And honestly, you're starting to see how your actions might have also driven them away and how your actions might have um, been very hot and cold and inconsistent. And, and in effect, it makes this person behave in a very hot and cold way towards you. Um, for those of you who are dealing with a uh, fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, this is somebody who really cares about you, okay? And they're, they're consistent. They're a lot more consistent than the, the, the earth sign. And I feel like you're getting a nudge from the universe to go ahead, okay? I, I see like, go for it. This is a person that, you know, you don't have to fear. They really care about you. They care about your well-being and they really want you to be the best person that you can be. So I, I feel like it's somebody that, you know, uh, they want to be with you. If they're not with you, they want you to be happy. So you don't really encounter those type of selfless energies or selfless people every day. And if you're dealing with somebody like this who really cares about you and they're always there and they're always, you know, checking up on you and making sure you're okay, giving you food in particular, uh, asking you, hey, are you okay? Are you comfortable? Do you want to coat? Like they really care about you and you're getting a gentle nudge from the universe to go for it. Um, <clears throat> let me see what else is in here. I keep hearing, you know, save up. Don't go crazy and wild with your spending because I feel like in the month of, let me see, we are headed into the holiday season. So, you know, you might want to just conserve um, money. You might need to buy gifts. I don't think Aquarius people are too big into gift giving. But either way, um, I feel like four months down the line, there might be a little bit of a money crunch. Okay, so you want to be a little bit careful. So that's going to be in the February time frame. So... Some of you might be planning a trip by then and you might want to conserve money a little bit. Okay, so just um, keep that in mind. Um, I'm feeling as well. Let me see here. There is another message here. Let me just get the... Um, let me try to make it so that it makes sense. We'll interpret, interpret the message.
so I'm, I'm, I'm seeing somebody who shows love and affection in a strange way. And I feel like that might be why you even like them in the first place, because they're, they're non-traditional, they're not unconventional. And um, I feel like they, they're, they're a little bit snippy when they deal with you, but they love you. They just have a very weird way of showing it. They, they might be, you know, critical of you. They might say things to, um, and I'm not talking about, you know, people in abusive relationships. This is not it. This is not something that I'm, I'm seeing. I feel like they, they're a little bit critical. They're a little bit like their sense of humor is a little bit tongue in cheek and they're, they might seem a little bit mean. And you're like, why are they so mean to me? I feel like they're, they're um, frustrated. They're frustrated that things are not getting off the ground. You know, if it's a relationship, like they're frustrated that you're not coming towards them. They see you interacting and being very friendly with other people. And I feel like they're asking themselves, why can't the Aquarius person do that with me? Be natural and, and you know, smile and um, soften themselves when they're around me. So I feel like they're a little bit envious and also they show they're, they're frustrated because things are not getting off the ground. Okay. So I'm going to just leave it at that. Um, if this sounds like somebody that you're dealing with, you need to, you know, allow your emotions to kind of dictate, allow your emotions to, um, if it's an earth sign, earth signs need your presence. Okay. Like, um, Aquarius and, and, um, other air signs, you guys are okay communicating through text, through email, through Skype, through whatever uh, method of uh, distant communication. Like, you're okay with that. If it's an earth sign or a fire sign, they need you to be physically there. They need to feel your presence. They need to you to make the time for them. So sit down and have a proper conversation. Otherwise, they feel like they don't, like you don't have time in your life for them. So you might have to change your methodology when you're dealing with this person because I feel like they want the attention and they could be envious that they're not getting it. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. I hope the reading is helpful for you guys and uh, best of luck with everything.